Here are our scenes from tonight's exciting episode. My fellow Americans, on yesterday I went before the Congress to speak for the first time as President of the United States. Tonight, on this Thanksgiving, a great leader is dead. 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 I used to listen aimlessly to the scripted voices on my TV But that was before I became a conspiracy theorist I would blindly accept anyone else's words Even if to me they seemed absurd But then I did my own research and now I'm a conspiracy theorist Somebody come in and talk to us. Just here. I would blindly accept anyone else's words, even if to me they seemed absurd. But then I did my own research, and now I'm a conspiracy theorist. I no longer censor the words that I say. Conspiracy theorist Now everyone who passes me by Has got that weary look in their eyes Cause they don't wanna be associated with The conspiracy theorist As their screams echo in my mind Never did I Reports. And then the third shot. Two shots and then the third shot. Yeah. So a total of three. Yeah. And you're very clear on that. Yeah. The last shot sounded like a firecracker too, except it was right in front of us and I saw the damage it did. You're not one that believes that a shot came from another direction. No. Especially the people who say it came from right back there. If it had been a high power rifle that close behind us, both Mr. Z and I would have come completely off the colonnade from the sound. I'm the conspiracy theorist. Where did you get shot from? Was it the grassy knoll? Was it the school book depository? Was it the storm drain? It was the storm drain? He said right. So it was the storm drain. In my mind, but now I'm the conspiracy theorist. So now they're coming to take me away Never did I think that I Would have the strength to no longer stand by But now that I've spoken up they call me The conspiracy theorist Now everyone who passes me by Has got that weary look in their eyes they don't want to be associated with 
serve these innocent souls. With that Lyndon Johnson that ordered your assassination. I try to be brave, but I'm just one conspiracy theorist. Positive. I try to be brave, but I'm just one conspiracy theorist. Adventures presents JFK Seance in Daily Plaza. I walked alone Narrow streets of cobblestone Neath the halo of a street lamp I turned my collar to the cold and damp When my eyes were stared by the
Welcome or welcome back to another Haunted Encounter Adventures episode. My name is Jeff Wolong. So glad you guys are here tonight. We have an exciting episode in store for you. So ever since I was uh, a young kid uh, in, in grade school, uh, I can remember going to the, uh, the school library there and checking out this book on the Kennedy assassination. Uh, seeing the diagram of the magic bullet, uh, seeing uh, scenarios of the grassy knoll and the school book depository <clears throat> and growing up I've always been fascinated with with this subject I mean why not this is the world's greatest murder mystery who did it what was the reasons behind the murder and you know what was all involved and, and who was involved and uh, you know so over the years uh, I've been following this case very closely and I had to go out there uh, to Daily Plaza and check it out for myself, you know. And you know what? I was amazed on how everything is pretty much intact. And uh, it's like a, a time capsule that just hasn't moved, you know. I mean, everything is still there. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I took it like a one step further. I was like... I never saw any anyone doing any like type of ghost investigations or or asking the spirits uh, their take uh, on what happened there at Daily Plaza, and uh, so you know I, when I was out there, I took my spirit box along with us, and uh, you know <laughs> we got some pretty compelling answers, and uh, you know at the time when the spirit box was talking. I really didn't understand some of it uh, until I came home and I did a lot of investigations uh, in their answers and uh, you know it really it was so accurate it freaked me out so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the seance first and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna analyze its answers and see if we can get uh, some information on what really happened in Daily Plaza uh, from the spirits what does the spirits have to say about what happened at this historic site? Let's get started. Somebody come in and talk to us. Can't eat. Yeah. Where did the bullet come from? Where did you get shot from? Was it the school book depository? Was it the grassy knoll? Was it the grassy knoll? Was it the school book depository? Talk to me. We can't be here all day. Pressure. I know, this, I know. I'm sorry, I don't mean to give you pressure. Please forgive me. But we must know. Where did the bullet come from? How many shooters were there? I don't mean to give you any pressure. We just really want to know what happened to you. What happened to you? Your brother. Yes, I, I know. He was he was killed. 
a little later after but we're talking about you right now tell me where did you get shot from was it from the school book depository was it from the school book depository Was it from the other building across the street? Was it from... Billy. Billy. River. River. Where were you shot from? What direction was it? What direction was the bullet? Marks. Marks. Yeah, there's there's some marks here from the bullet, yeah. There's one that, there's a bullet that landed over there. At the bridge. At the bridge leg. The bridge beam, yes. But where did the bullet come from? It was, were you telling me he's a marksman? Where did he get shot from? Was it the grassy knoll? Was it the school book depository? Was it the storm drain? Right. It was the storm drain? You said right. So it was the storm drain. So you're telling me the shot came from the storm drain? Thank you. Then it was Billy. Billy shot you from the storm drain. And he was a marksman. Correct? And it wasn't Lee Harvey Oswald, correct? Was Lee Harvey Oswald the patsy? Was he the escape goat? Vietnam, yes, I know. Oh my goodness, yes. Yeah, I know. Vietnam is going on. So, yeah, so let's talk about that. So, you didn't want to go into Vietnam, but the Vice President, Lyndon Johnson, did. Did Lyndon Johnson have you assassinated? Was it Lyndon Johnson that ordered your assassination? Positive. Positive. Thank you. We just got confirmation that it was Lyndon Johnson who ordered your assassination because of the Vietnam War. Billy. Billy. So I was curious on why the spirit box said Billy. So I wanted to find out if anybody with that name might have been associated with the Kennedy assassination. And lo and behold, we found this guy here, William K. Harvey, or also known as Wild Bill. Now Wild Bill in 1940 joined the FBI, then later was associated with the CIA. Now he began assembling squads of assassins recruited from the ranks of organized criminals in Europe. And a lot of researchers believe that Harvey was involved in the Kennedy assassination. 
So there's a lengthy past on this guy, a lot of information. We don't have a lot of time to go into this. But is this the reason why the spirit box said Billy? What direction was the bullet? Marks. Marks. Yeah, there's there's some marks here from the bullet, yeah. There's one that, there's a bullet that landed over there. At the bridge. When the spirit box says marks, there's a couple ways that we can interpret this. Maybe it's talking about a marksman. Maybe it's talking about a Marxist. Marxist? Well, I have uh, studied Marxist philosophy, yes, sir, and also other philosophers, but are you a Marxist? I think you did admit on an earlier radio interview that you uh, that you consider yourself a Marxist. Oh, I would very definitely say that I, uh, I uh, am a Marxist. That is correct. But I, that does not mean, however, that I'm a, a uh, communist. Maybe it's talking about a mark left behind of evidence from the Daily Plaza shooting. While I was out there, I did some investigations of my own, and I discovered something that I would like to share with you tonight. There was three shots that rang out. You are sure you heard two shots? That's interesting. We've no, heard conflicting two shots reports. Two and then the third shot. Two shots and then the third shot. Yeah. So a total of three. Yeah. And you're very clear on that. Yeah. The first shot missed and actually bounced off the concrete, and there was a guy standing here by the triple underpass, and he says that a bullet fragment hit him in his right cheek. When we look at the Sapruder film, we see a little girl running. And when the first shots ring out, she stops dead in her tracks. And she looks behind her. Is she looking back behind her to the school book depository? Or is she looking at the building next to the school book depository? Now we're on top of the triple underpass and we can see on how the two buildings align perfect with each other. And I find it amazing on how Lee Harvey, Lee Harvey Oswell's window is perfectly aligned with the other windows to the building next door. Now we're on the ground and we can see here, this is where the guy was standing at. Now when the first shots rang out, it hit here. This is when the little girl stops dead in her tracks and looks behind her. After it hit the ground, it then bounces past the guy and hits the building here, hits the triple underpass here. And we can see evidence of a repair job there. And this is actually some concrete of the repair job that I found uh, while doing my investigations. And we can see the patch job of where, of where a bullet had struck this beam to the triple underpass. Now, either the bullet fragment had bounced off the building or maybe a piece of concrete hit this guy here. Where did you get shot from? Was it the grassy knoll? Was it the school book depository? Was it the storm drain? Right. It was the storm drain? You said right. So it was the storm drain. So you're telling me the shot came from the storm drain? You know, I've always wondered if the shots came from the Texas School Book Depository on the sixth floor, then why did he wait so long to shoot? This seems like a better accurate way of hitting your target then waiting until he got away from you.
this right here would have been a, a much better shot. A more accurate shot. Than waiting for him to pass the window. Look at that. That is that's a perfect shot right there. Why did he wait so long? You know, I found so much evidence that the headshot did not come uh, from the Texas School Book Depository and also even from the Grassy Knoll. There's no evidence of this. The last shot sounded like a firecracker too, except it was right in front of us and I saw the damage it did. You're not one that believes that a shot came from another direction. No, especially the people who say it came from right back there. If it had been a high power rifle that close behind us, both Mr. and Z and I would have come completely off the colonnade from the sound. Uh, even when we look at videos, uh, there are people running up to the grassy knoll. They're not running away from the grassy knoll. I mean, when you hear shots and you think someone's over there shooting, are you going to run towards the shooter? No, you're going to run away. These people are running to the grassy knoll. And why? Because there's a parking lot there. And they were running to their cars. So. When we see videos of this, when people are running up to the grassy knoll, they're running to the cars. They're trying to get out of there. There's no evidence of anybody up there at the grassy knoll. Now the evidence does suggest that there was a bullet that came from the ground. And there's documents and evidence of this and, and, the, and the storm drain was moved. You know, I really believe that the sniper in the storm drain was the insurance. Because if the other sniper had missed, and to me, that's exactly what happened. Because the guy adjacent to the Texas School Book Depository, he missed. And he hit here. And it bounced and hit the triple underpass and then he fired again and hit him in the neck and then he was getting away so the insurance plan to make sure the job was finished was done the fatal shot came from the storm drain river, river. 
It's interesting how the spirit box said river. A lot of investigators who believe the fatal shot came from the storm drain believe the escape route was through the underground sewage systems that leads under Daly Plaza all the way to the Trinity River. This would give the assassin plenty of time to escape and avoid the chaos in Daly Plaza as he would emerge unseen coming out of this area here onto the Trinity River. Was the spirit box trying to tell us that this was where the assassin came out at, at the Trinity River? Vietnam, yes, I know. Oh my goodness, yes. Yeah, I know. Vietnam is going on. So, yeah, so let's talk about that. So, you didn't want to go into Vietnam, but the Vice President, Lyndon Johnson, did. Was it Lyndon Johnson that ordered your assassination? You know, when that machine said Vietnam, that just floored me. I mean, what is the chances of that machine sitting out there in Daly Plaza and have it say Vietnam? So when I was out there, I clearly heard Vietnam. I could understand it saying Vietnam. But when I took it back home and then I played it, it didn't sound like Vietnam at all. So I reversed it and that's when it said Vietnam. You know, I was floored. And what are the chances of that machine sitting in Daly Plaza talking about Vietnam? The odds of that is spectacular. And it really just blew me away. I could not believe I was sitting in Daly Plaza asking a spirit box questions and have it come out Vietnam. I mean, in my opinion, studying the Kennedy assassination, understanding it all and what happened and, and you know, it all boils down to Lyndon Johnson. I mean, look at it. Kennedy didn't want to go into Vietnam. I mean, he's already put some troops in there, but he was talking about getting out of Vietnam. But Lyndon Johnson, on the other hand, see, he had stock in the helicopters. A lot of people don't know this, but there was money to be made, okay, on going into Vietnam. That means more building the helicopters that Lyndon Johnson had stock in and his wife. So it all boiled down to money. And it was the Vietnam War that led up to Kennedy's assassination. Not only that, but Lyndon Johnson, he wanted to be president. He had the means, he had the, he had the opportunity, and he needed to do it before he got too old. Oh, by the way, Guess who funded the school book depository? Lyndon Johnson. That's his building. So what better yet to get the president there to set all of this up so he could become president. Thank you for watching another Haunted Encounter Adventures episode. I really hope you've enjoyed this film. You know, over the years, I've uncovered so much evidence and it's just, there's just too much to cram into the short film. And I hope this inspires more ghost hunters to come out there and start doing their own investigations because I believe the answers are there. And one thing I would like to leave off with you guys, I believe that there's prophecy in money. 
And so when we look at the $5 bill, you know, Ken, uh, Lincoln was assassinated also. And when you fold the $5 bill in such a way, I believe it talks about the Kennedy assassination. So I hope you enjoyed this film and uh, we'll see you next time on Haunted Encounter Adventures. Take care.